Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all? Hope you are doing well and staying safe. So for today's video, we are going to learn chapter coal and petroleum of class 8. So here we go. Nowadays, we often fail to notice that whether or how something is working until it is not really working. And if something works, it works because of this magical entity known as energy. Energy helps us to move, to grow or to somehow interact. All of the life which is possible is just because of energy. Energy helps the universe to go and grow. You know energy is there because you can see it, you can feel it, you can hear it. Light, heat, motion and sound are all the forms of energy. Some sources of energy are naturally renewable such as wind energy, solar energy and some sources of energy are non-renewable for example fossil fuels and what are fossil fuels, oil, coal, CNG etc. And also these sources cannot be renewable within our lifespan. Anyone who have ever lit up a candle nowadays knows that making a fire is as easy as striking and match. But if we talk about our early ancestors, when I am talking about early ancestors means the one, the cavemen, they must be thinking that lighting up a candle or burning something is very astonish. The energy that is brought changed their life. For the first time, they had the power to produce heat and light wherever and whenever they required or wherever and whenever it was needed. Creating fire was just the beginning of our ongoing quest to use Earth's natural resources to make our life much more better. For most part of our history of early time, wood was the most, most needed resources at that time. Wood was used for shelter, for transportation, for heat and light and much more things that we even cannot think of. Beside wood, people also used sun energy, heat and light, wind, flowing water and even animals for their transportation, for their products. Asian civilization advanced the use of energy resources. Around 3500 BC, Egyptians made the earliest known as sailboats, in which the main thing was the wind which helped it to move. Around 500 BC, Greeks were building solar homes to use the sunlight to produce energy. By around 85 BC, Romans were enjoying the hot bath from the geothermal energy. Around the same time, Greeks took the advantage of flowing water. They developed the water wheels to grind grain. This was the task which was earlier done by human power or with the help of animals. What is the point to be noted that from our caveman's time to the world now, everything is just full of energy. Energy converts from one form to another and what is the final form of energy that we use. Till now we are talking about this thing, energy. Anyway, what is this thing known as energy? So basically there are two ways that we look at energy. So the first is to create heat and the another is to do work. So energy is used to create heat and you are able to do work with it. When the fire was known, there was only one source of heat and that is biomass. So what is this biomass? Biomass basically is wood or even cow dung. So another type of energy is to do work. So that has also came from a biomass. They use animals for all kinds of work. In some cases, humans were also delivered to do work. As in construction, workers was used as slaves. So human energy was used to do work. So due to enhanced working, humans started enhancing the equipments and the machineries to do work, such as lever. Using lever, a short push can enhance that it is a very big push. Brick, roads, bread, 
factories were simultaneously increasing. Most of the factories were built next to the forest for fuel supply. The consequences of this that forests were cleared faster for human activity. This is how everything ran till 17th century when the new invention was actually revolutionized technology and the invention was an steam engine. You know what is so different about the steam engine? Because it was the first machine that converts heat into mechanical work. And now you light up a candle and burn fire and the thing started moving. It was soon recognized that all kind of energy, not only heat and work, the gravity, electricity, chemical reactions, sound, light, all kind of energies are same. For example, gravity turn the water to flow down, electricity and chemical reaction, biothermal energy. So what was one more consequence of it? That people want to burn more stuff. The answer turned out to be this, an impressive lump of coal. Here was another revolution. For the first time, people invented that not only from living things but also from non-living things, non-living things we can get energy. Actually, this fossil fuels which is coal, oil and natural gas are highly prized energy sources for centuries. Mining for coal was first done in China in around 200 BC for around 280, the Romans find a lot of usage of coil from British Israel. For around 1100, Europeans first drilled the oil wells. It was the Industrial Revolution, however, for usage of fossil fuels for factories and for transportation. Electricity was first produced using coal on 1880. Since then, coal was dominated to for usage of electrical product and transportation plus for industries. The question you may get out here that where is the energy stored in fossil fuels because they are non-living, right? The answer is very simple. The process in which the plants get the energy is the same reason behind the energy of the fossil fuels. Just the difference is that the energy stored in fossil fuels are not because of the plants that we have now. It, the energy stored in fossil fuels are the, from the plants that are long and long back time ago. Plants make their food with the process known as photosynthesis. That is how your vegetables and fruits get the nutrients get the energy right and that is how you also get energy from plants right all the fossil fuels were formed that was long millions of years ago from the plants that was millions of years ago the time before the dinosaurs even therefore it is named as fossil fuels it was formed when the remain that remain of plants and animals was buried under tons and tons of rocks and soil. Subjective to the heat and pressure of the time, the organic matter eventually formed the coal, which is called as a solid, sometime in liquid form which is known as the oil and sometime in gaseous form which is known as natural gas. So guys that is it for today's video, hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope that you all have understood all the concept of this chapter we have learned till now. I will be coming soon with more part of this chapter. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.